The job outlook, both locally and nationally, is promising. That's according to the Career Services Center at IPFW. This year, expectations are the economy will create more than 1.3 million new jobs across the country. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth spent today looking into how Northeast Indiana will be impacted and what job seekers are noticing. He joins me now with more. So, Randy, what did you find out? Well, Mark, the number of jobs grew last year, and more jobs are getting created now. IPFW's Career Service Director Jim McAtee says it will still be a couple years before the job market fully recovers from the recession, but things are moving in the right direction. It's probably going to take until about 2014, 2015 to get back to pre-recession levels uh, where we're talking about the number of jobs. Nine million jobs were lost over the course of the recession, but slowly new jobs are being created. A lot of the jobs that are going to be in the market when we come out of the reception, out of the recession are going to be a little different than, than the pre-recession jobs. And the key to landing them will be to have some sort of college degree. Jim McAtee expects the number of jobs requiring an associate's degree to soon be up 18 percent from pre-recession levels. Jobs requiring master's degrees up 22 percent and those requiring doctoral degrees up 20 percent. Hopefully they've been doing their networking because that is so important these days. If they haven't started that, they really need to. They need to speak with someone who can help them start that process. I headed out to a job fair tonight and spoke with two people interested in call center jobs being added at Frontier. I've been going to a lot of uh, like temporary agencies and just applying you know, wherever I, I, I hear they're hiring. Both have spent close to a year looking for steady work. They've noticed an improvement in the types of jobs available. I don't think it's easy, but I think it's a lot better than it was. Um, it's all about finding the job that fits you. Everything gets better, you know, with time and, you know, we just got to put ourselves in positions where, you know, we can take advantage of the opportunities that are put in front of us. Jim McAtee added one more tip for job hunters. That's to make sure you're looking for jobs in a growing industry. And Mark, it's always helpful to speak with someone who works in an industry to learn more about it. That is definitely always sound advice. All right.